looking at this. Of course, the judge is just going to look at the laws you break, not on the good things uh, we I do. Think murder is going to override almost most of the good stuff. Yeah, and there's there's and another. I'm that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. There and there's another. Jesus says, if you've ever hated anybody, it's as good as murder in your heart. Have you ever hated anybody? Yes. Yeah. So that that got oh, me well, too. Hated? Yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. So. Based on the law, what we've done, like if we've lied, we've already broke the law. Like if someone who rapes, uh, I don't do that anymore, Judge. If you rape one person, you're a rapist, right? If we lie once, we're a liar. If we, and it's, it's, I'm, I'm in the boat with you, but we yeah, don't. On the different levels there. I mean, lying, oh, yeah. sometimes you lie to protect you. Mm -hmm. You don't ever rape somebody for good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there are definitely are different levels. But God says, all liars shall have their part that burns with the lake of fire. No thief, no adulterer, no blasphemer will inherit the kingdom of God. So me and you, we're, we're in deep, deep trouble. So you and I would go to hell if we had to stand before God. But what did God do for guilty sinners like me and you that we wouldn't have to go to hell? He gave his only begotten son. Amen. Everybody knows that, but they don't know this. Um, so we broke God's law. He paid our fine. So... Did you know if you were in a court of law and say it was speeding fines, you had tons of speeding fines. The judge says this is deadly serious, but if someone were to come in and pay your fine, the judge could legally say, Scott, you are free to go. And that's what God, Jesus did on the cross. You remember what he said, the last three words on the cross before he, before he died? I don't remember. It is finished. That means the debt has been paid. I had a crucifix that had the ISF on it. And so God can legally wipe away your case and give you everlasting life. And he says, all you have to do, a child could know it. He says, just repent and trust in Jesus. And repent, that means to truly be sorry for our sins and to, not to keep doing them. We can't, it, we'd be deceiving ourselves, be a hypocrite if we kept on lying, kept on fornicating, kept on adultery. He says we have to turn from our sins and put all of our trust in Jesus. Kind of like we're, you know, trust in a parachute. So if you were in a, a plane 25,000 feet in the air and you had to jump, what would make you put on a parachute? The fact that the plane's going to crash? <laughs> yeah, and you, you don't want to die. And it's the fear. Like the fear, would, fear is a good thing in that situation because it's like, hey, <coughs> put on a parachute. And what, what I've tried to do to you is ask those questions about the Ten Commandments to to put a little fear, like hang you out of eternity if you were to face God today. Because the Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And you'll say, hey, give me that parachute. And the parachute is Jesus. When you trust in him like that, he promises to wash away all of your sins, give you everlasting life, and he'll give us a new heart. We'll, we won't de we'll desire righteousness, the thing that please him. Um, but anyway, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah no, I got you, man. Awesome. Well, thank you for being so patient and listening to me. Not so, a problem, brother. Yeah. So the big question is, uh, when are you going to repent and trust in Jesus? Do I have to make this decision right now? <laughs> no, nobody. Don't. Don't. Yeah. No. It's it's between you I, and God. I, I already have. In, in oh, ways. awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, praise the Lord. <laughs> is, is your own website on this thing? Well, um, it's a uh, YouTube. My name's Stephen Corpy. So you just type in Stephen Corpy. Okay. And, um, I have a buddy back in New York, Roger, who's a pastor, has his own church, has his own, what do you call it? What? He has his own church, and they're always on a little group. Awesome, awesome. Well, can uh, is there anything I can pray with you about? No, I'm good. All right. Well, I have a, a book. Um, this book uh, is about growing closer to the Lord after you've already made that decision to repent and trust. It really helped me, but I'd love to give it to you if you like. I'll check it out. Mm -hmm. and do you have a Bible? Yes, I do. I have a cool one I give you. It's only one book. It's the book of John, but look at that. Isn't that neat? <laughs> that's why I knew the whole John 3, 16. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's well, cool. Thank you so much for letting me have this interview with you guys. And uh, God bless you, Scott. Yeah. Likewise.